Hi, I'm Ethan Siegel, theoretical astrophysicist, and welcome to Genesis, the story of where all this comes from. When we look around at the diversity of life on Earth, it might not be obvious how closely related everything is, but if we zoom in deeper and farther than our eyes can see, we find that the huge complexity of what we see at a macroscopic scale is all due to slight variations in molecular configurations at a microscopic level. The same molecules that enable the life processes in a raspberry bush or even a single-celled paramecium are also at play in an organism as complicated and differentiated as we are. We might not yet know how nature took that great leap from non-life to life here on Earth, but one thing we are certain about is where the ingredients common to all living things come from, and it might surprise you just how common they are, not only here, but everywhere we look in the universe. When stars reach the end of their lives, they expel their outer layers back into the interstellar medium, the ultimate example of cosmic recycling. Over time, these atoms, representing the full diversity of the periodic table, spontaneously react with one another, catalyzed by the cosmic radiation originating from stars, black holes, and cataclysmic events all around us. If we want to find out what's out there in these nebulae and molecular clouds, all we have to do is look in the right way. Every atom and molecule in the universe has a signature that's completely unique to its particular configuration, a set of wavelengths of light that it absorbs and emits that allow us to distinguish it from every other atomic or molecular configuration in existence. By measuring not only visible light, but light of different wavelengths that are imperceptible to our eyes, X-ray, infrared, microwave, and radio waves, we can determine not only what types of molecules are present, but what their concentrations are. What we find are the same organic molecules associated with life here on Earth, including sugars, alcohols, amino acids, ethyl formate, which is the molecule that gives raspberries their characteristic scent, and incredibly complex carbon chains and rings, polycyclic aromatic hydrocarbons, which are the precursor molecules to many carbon-based compounds. If you could take a whiff of interstellar space, it would smell similar to raspberries and poison. A combination of raspberries and poison. We also have a delivery system for these molecules to Earth's surface from collisions with asteroids. This is a fragment of the Murchison meteorite, an asteroid that landed in Australia back in 1969, just two months after humans first walked on the moon. We have 20 unique amino acids that are used in life processes here on Earth. But when we analyzed the amino acids found in this meteorite, we found nearly 100 unique amino acids inside, as well as tens of thousands of unique molecular compounds. Not only are the ingredients everywhere that would allow life to arise as it has here on Earth, but potentially in wildly different ways that might even be beyond our untamed imagination. We might not know everything, but that's one puzzle piece, the story of organic molecules we know how to put together in the story of where all this comes from.